bile duct cancer, also known as cholangiocarcinoma, is a rare and often challenging cancer that affects the bile ducts, which are small tubes that carry bile from the liver to the small intestine. In this comprehensive guide, we will explore what bile duct cancer is, the standard treatment options available, its seriousness compared to other cancers, the prognosis at different stages, promising therapeutics in the FDA approval process, the unique challenges it presents, FDA-approved medications for bile duct cancer, risk factors for its development, and a list of organizations and resources that provide support for those undergoing bile duct cancer treatment. As always, these ideas are discussed in more depth in the book Cancer Self-Defense 101. Quick tips to help you survive. All citations for studies quoted in this video can be found in the book's bibliography at cancerselfdefense101.com. This video is intended as information, not medical advice. It is not intended to treat, diagnose, or cure any disease. Any medical advice should come from an appropriately credentialed medical professional familiar with your unique circumstances. What is bile duct cancer? Bile duct cancer, or cholangiocarcinoma, is a type of cancer that originates in the bile ducts which are responsible for transporting bile from the liver to the small intestine to aid in digestion. Bile duct cancer can occur in different parts of the bile duct system, including the intrahepatic bile ducts inside the liver, the perihyla bile ducts near the liver, or the distal bile ducts closer to the small intestine. The location and stage of the cancer influence treatment options and prognosis. Standard of care treatments for bile duct cancer treatment for bile duct cancer depends on factors such as the location of the tumor, its stage at diagnosis, and the patient's overall health. Common treatment options include hepatectomy, surgical removal of part of the liver may be necessary for tumors in the intrahepatic bile ducts. Whipple procedure, pancreaticoduodenectomy, for tumors in the perihilar bile ducts, this procedure removes the head of the pancreas, the duodenum, a portion of the stomach, and nearby lymph nodes. Distal pancreatectomy removes the distal bile duct and part of the pancreas for tumors in the distal bile ducts. Gemcitabine and cisplatin, combination chemotherapy is often used to treat bile duct cancer. Fluororacil, 5-FU, and capacitabine. These drugs may also be used in chemotherapy regimens. External beam radiation, high-energy X-rays, target and kill cancer cells in the bile ducts. Brachytherapy, radioactive materials are placed directly into or near the tumor. Liver transplantation. In some cases, a liver transplant may be considered for select patients with early-stage bile duct cancer. Seriousness compared to other cancers. Bile duct cancer is considered a serious and challenging cancer for several reasons. Late diagnosis. Bile duct cancer often presents with vague symptoms or is asymptomatic until an advanced stage, making early diagnosis difficult. Limited treatment options. The effectiveness of current treatments, particularly for advanced cases, is limited contributing to the relatively high mortality rate associated with bile duct cancer. Invasive nature. Bile duct cancer tends to invade nearby structures and can block the bile ducts, leading to symptoms such as jaundice, yellowing of the skin and eyes. Location challenges. The location of bile ducts within the liver and abdomen presents surgical and treatment challenges. A website to research promising clinical trials for bile duct cancer is on clive.com. The book, Cancer Self Defense. One quick tips to help you survive details. Several integrative treatments that have shown promise against bile duct cancer. Prognosis. Prognosis for stage one, bile duct cancer. Stage one bile duct cancer is localized, meaning it is confined to the bile ducts without spreading to lymph nodes or distant organs. The prognosis for stage one bile duct cancer is relatively better compared to more advanced stages. 
surgical removal of the tumor, either through resection or liver transplant, offers the potential for long-term survival. However, individual outcomes can vary based on factors such as tumor size and type. Prognosis for stage four, bile duct cancer stage, poor bile duct cancer indicates that the cancer has spread to distant organs or tissues. The prognosis for stage four bile duct cancer is less favorable with a significantly lower five-year survival rate. On average, the five-year survival rate for advanced bile duct cancer may be less than 5%. However, individual outcomes depend on factors like treatment response and overall health. FDA-approved medications for bile duct cancer. Several FDA-approved medications are used to treat bile duct cancer, including gemcitabine and cisplatin, a standard chemotherapy regimen for bile duct cancer, fluoroacyl 5-FU, and capacitabine. These chemotherapy drugs are sometimes used in combination with other agents. Risk factors for developing bile duct cancer. Several factors may increase the risk of developing bile duct cancer. Age. Bile duct cancer is more common in older individuals, with the highest risk occurring in people over 65. Primary sclerosing cholangitis, PSC. Individuals with PSC, a chronic liver disease, have an increased risk of bile duct cancer. Bile duct abnormalities, conditions such as collidocal cysts and Caroli disease may elevate the risk. Infections. Chronic infections with liver flukes or certain types of hepatitis can increase the risk. Biliary stones. Gallstones or biliary stones may lead to inflammation and damage to the bile ducts, potentially increasing the risk. Organizations and resources for bile duct cancer treatment. For individuals and families affected by bile duct cancer, several organizations and resources provide support and information. Colangio Carcinoma Foundation offers resources, support, and advocacy for patients and caregivers. American Cancer Society, ACS, provides comprehensive information on bile duct cancer, treatment options, and support services. For more information, please seal Cancer Self-Defense 101 Quick Tips to Help You Survive.